Lefty Row. What do you see so far? He does it all. Well, I, I wanted to love on Mookie. I got a chance to be around him during the WBC. He was one of the guys that I had no knowledge of what he was going to be like. He, wa he wasn't. He was probably the toughest guy to get on the phone throughout the entire process. <laughs> He's up to it. Busy. He's so busy. I, I just didn't know what I was going to get. He couldn't have been better. Honestly, consummate professional, just a great dude, athletic as as anyone could ever imagine. Uh, he's probably great at everything he does. Talking to him, I know it's well chronicled his bowling. Yes. Was like how many 300 games? He's like, I don't even know, probably around 40. Wow. Which is pretty incredible. That's crazy. But I remember when we started trying to put the roster together, there was a big push for Mookie Betts to play second base. And as a former middle infielder, I always, I, I came up behind Maddox, Glavin, and Smoltz, and anyone can say they can play the middle, middle infield, but can you turn a double play in a big spot for Greg Maddox or Tom Glavin? That's how I viewed it. So I wanted to make sure that we just had Jeff McNeil on the roster to play second because he's a batting champion and all-star just in case, but man, was I dead wrong? Because after about 48 hours being around this guy, and he played second base last night, we can get into the tape. He's going to win. He could win a gold glove at second base. He could probably play shortstop if he wants to as well. And the one thing, when you look at Mookie, he screams five-tool talent, and he probably could steal 40 bases if he wants to, but he has chosen to become more of a slug guy now. 35 home runs, and there he is at second base, picking and grinning. Funny story right there, real quick. Against Cuba, we started to blow them out. Pause that real quick. We started to blow them out, and he comes up to me. He's like, D, I can't run the right field anymore. My legs are tired. It's 13 to 2. I'm like, well, my lineup card says I don't have many options to move you around. Kyle Tucker was down that day. He goes, do you mind if me and Jeff McNeil flip? He goes to right and I play second. I said, if Jeff's willing to do it, I'm not going <laughs> to ask him to do it. And that's what happened. So he, I look up and he's playing second base against Cuba and he handled it to perfection. And then, okay, he's got massive numbers against Logan Webb coming into this game. He was, and at the conclusion of this game, 12 for 26 is a 462 batting average. Pause this. Three extra base hits, two doubles, a homer. So he saw him well. The same with Freddie Freeman. Okay? Let's look at the first A-B. And Logan Webb's coming off, punching tickets against the Yankees. Here he is, slider middle of the plate. And then the minute this pitch is down in the zone, Mookie jumps on it. Okay? S-Rod, bring up the first board real quick. Slugging leader since the start. Yeah. Okay. So you get a sinker down in the zone, which he absolutely kills. And we'll get into that as well. But look at the slugging percentage leader since the start of 2022. Judge, Trout, Alvarez, Goldschmidt. Would you put those two on the back end of that? I don't, I, I didn't view them as power slug guys, but that's really what they are. Bring up the next board, low in the zone. Check this out. So now, you know why he's a great matchup for Logan Webb. Two-seamer, riding down in the zone. He can handle anything lower than 2.25 feet in the zone. Obviously, it's been well chronicled. Mike Trout, everyone tries to attack him up here. Anything in this region is getting torched. Same with Austin Riley and Mookie Betts. So we need to start, like, reimagining how we view Mookie. He's not this big base stealing threat anymore. He has chosen to go to this power slug game, try and help the Dodgers in that way. So let's dive back into his ABs last night versus Logan Webb. So he sets the tone right out of the gate. And his swing is absolutely flawless. But it's a, he does some different things in the box than a lot of other guys or what we were taught coming up. Watching him go about his craft, there is a concerted effort to create this stretch. And I want to get into it after he whistles this bullet up the middle. He gives me, coming off the Masters, when you watch him side angle. Pause. Rack it back to when his foot touches the ground. Keep coming. Boom. Okay. So, 
The reason Mookie, I feel like, is so successful outside of the fact that he's a crazy athlete, look at the separation he creates from his hands to just, let's just say, his earlobe. That's, that's a lot of separation. And the reason I have Justin Thomas up there is in hitting a lot of us back in the day, we pull off this earlobe, like it'd be this concerted effort to pull down and almost create this steep angle to the ball. Well, anyone who's ever played golf or has taken a golf lesson, the first thing they tell you is you wanna create width. You want your hands away from your body for your club head to work properly through the golf ball. I mean, man, it seems like to me, he's in the zone, run that back real quick. I'll tell you when to stop, bring it forward. Click, 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 stop. I mean, he's almost in the hitting zone in like one more click, run it forward. Boom, he's there. So he's got you, he's so wide, he's got you there to right field, right center, center. There's nothing he can't cover. With power and explosion. I just wanted to put Justin Thomas up there. You see how he's creating width away from his body to generate serious pop and speed. So incredible to be around him for the three weeks. Obviously one of the best players in the game. That goes without saying. Does it a little bit differently. And if you watch him, the last thing I'll say and we'll get out. I love the stretch effect. Again, another guy who is thinking this top hand, palm up, palm down, this top hand stays towards the sky the entire swing. He never rolls this over. He stays here, point of contact, boom, and keeps it moving up the roof. He's got crazy juice, Robert. Great stuff, D-Row. Great stuff.